Praise the Lord. You are invited to join us on Friday, December the 23rd at 7 p.m. for Focus Friday at Zion Temple First Pentecostal Church, 3771 Reading Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45229, where the pastor is Suffolk Bishop Charles L. Smith. Come join us for Focus Friday, where our speaker will be Dr. Kelly Neal. Hope to see you there. Let us praise the Lord together. How great is our God. Sing with me how, how great is our God. For all to see how great, how great is our God. Help me praise to you. Hallelujah. How He 
He's a great God. Is He great? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we can give him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. He is tremendous. He is awesome. He's stupendous. <laughs> Hallelujah. What other verbs or adjectives you want to give him, he deserves them all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're glad to be here today. I'm always glad to be back in God's house. And I'm always glad to see God's people in God's house, ready to worship the Lord and ready to give him some praise. Amen. He's worthy. I said he's worthy. Ain't he worthy? <laughs> Hallelujah. He is truly worthy. Nobody could do what God does. Hallelujah. We got some smart people, we got some strong people, and we have some intelligent people, but nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody like God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead and thank God for being here in our service today and we worship Him both in spirit and in truth. Amen. We're going to have prayer at this time. We we'll ask everyone to maybe you were standing for prayer. Man. Everybody will stand up before, get up again, and then man, <laughs> wasn't standing. Amen. We ask that you would stand for prayer today. And if you have a request that you want to make to the Lord, just raise your hand. Amen. And ask God to remember your request, whatever it might be today. Let us pray. Father God, I come before you on behalf of the service today, on behalf of the message, and on behalf of what we're going to do to Lift up Jesus in Zion today. Please bless the word of the Lord as it goes forth. Remember the sick and afflicted that are among us. I pray that the healing hand of God will touch them and heal them 
by the power of the Lord. Bless, Lord God, those who are cast down. I pray that they will be lifted up. And those who are burdened, that the burdens will go away. Hallelujah. Bless us as we go forward in this service and help us to lift up the name of Jesus. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. Have your way in our lives and bless this message today as we go forth to preach the word of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us turn in our Bibles and our smart iPads and whatever you got. Let us turn to the book of Luke. We're going to read there in chapter 2, verse 8 through 12. The book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 8 through 12. Everybody ready? Verse 8 said, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for our text that we have read and our Sunday scripture text that we've taken from there is verse 11 and verse 12. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Hallelujah. And the subject for today is the true meaning of Christmas. The true meaning of Christmas. Hallelujah. Christmas is a mixed up time. <laughs> Amen. It is a loaded up time. It is a time when many, many things are going on. But I feel as your pastor to encourage you and all of your family to celebrate Christmas in a proper manner. Amen. It is, he is not Santa Claus. Hallelujah. He does not have a, a man a reindeer by the name of Rudolph. Hallelujah. And he don't come down a chimney with the fire still blowing up through it. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Christmas, the true meaning of Christmas is the center of the celebration is Jesus Christ. Amen. We shouldn't be looking at what kind of presents we're going to get and how much food we're going to fix. Hallelujah. Who wins the football game? Hallelujah. But we should be thinking about Jesus. Lord, why did you come to this place? Hallelujah. When you could have been eternally set 
in heaven. Hallelujah. Why did you come down to the earth where there's so much confusion and so much war and so much violence and so much things going on? The Bible said he came to seek and to save those that were lost. Hallelujah. They were lost, but they didn't know they was lost. They were lost, but they didn't realize I'm lost. I'm wandering in the world of sin, and I need somebody to bring me out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God prepared a body for himself. Hallelujah. And came into the world to save us from our sin. Hallelujah. 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 The birth of Christ should be the center of our, hallelujah, worship and of our celebration of Christmas. Hallelujah. He did not have a Christmas tree. Hallelujah. Uh, I better I better stick to my text. <laughs> he didn't come for any of those reasons. He came to find us and save us from our sin. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. His coming was first introduced and came in the book of Luke. Hallelujah. The introduction and information concerning him is found in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 26 through 31, and Matthew 1, 18 through 20. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah, that in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, a spouse, to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Hallelujah. An angel said unto her, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. When she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of sal salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and shall bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the reason for the season. Hallelujah. There's no other reason why we should be celebrating Christmas but Jesus. Hallelujah. He was the one who came to save us from our sin. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 18, hallelujah, through 20, said, Now the birth of Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, not willing to make a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not 
hallelujah, to take thee, Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. She shall bring forth a son, hallelujah, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus came to save us from our sin. Hallelujah. 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 He came to us as a Savior. Hallelujah. Sometimes we tell a story over and over again. And so I heard that last year. And I heard it the year before that. And I heard it the year before that. But this is an old story. But it's a good story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We would not be saved. We would not be filled with the Holy Ghost. We would not be happy today and free from sin if Jesus had not come and saved us from our sin. Hallelujah. 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 He came to bring us through. He came to bring us out. Hallelujah. The birth of Christ is recorded in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 1 through 7. Hallelujah. The Bible said, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. This tax was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. And because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child, and so it was while they were there. The days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she, Mary, brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the true story of his birth. Hallelujah. This is what happened on that night, that holy night. Hallelujah. When the stars were shining very bright, Jesus was being born in Bethlehem of Judea. Hallelujah. Nobody knew that he was being born except the shepherds. Hallelujah. God chose to reveal to them and announce to them the birth of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And while they were abiding in the fields, in the country, keeping watch over their flock by night, lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. This shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes 
and lying in a manger. Hallelujah. This is the true meaning of Christmas. Hallelujah. This is what God intended for us to celebrate. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord wanted us to look back year by year. So I've been hearing this same story for a long time. They've been reading it every Christmas. But do you know what it means? Hallelujah. I once was bound, but now I'm free. I once was captured by the devil, but now I'm free. He don't have no chains on me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm free. Hallelujah. Jesus came to set us free. Hallelujah. 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 I'm glad about it. I said I'm glad about it. We never did teach our children about Santa Claus. Hallelujah. We never did. And the reason why we didn't teach them is because Santa Claus is not real. He does not come down chimneys with fire going up through him. He doesn't have all those big reindeer and red-nosed reindeer on the front pulling the cart, showing him the way. He doesn't come from the North Pole and go all over the United States and the world, amen, in one night. I don't care how many pictures they put up on TV, he's coming down from Alaska right now. It's a myth. It's a myth. And I remember, hallelujah, we used to stay awake purposely to see if mom and dad was right. My mother and father never told us that, hallelujah, that there was a Santa Claus. Hallelujah. They said, we give you the gifts. <laughs> Oops, I done spoiled something already. Hallelujah. <laughs> we buy the gifts. We shop at the store. We wrap the packages. We put the stockings on the heart. We fill them with candy and nuts. We buy the popcorn ball. There is no Santa Claus. So when I was a little boy, I told my brother, I said, I'm going to stay awake and I'm going to try to catch him when he comes. And uh, my brother's name was Jimmy, and Jimmy said, oh, you better go on to sleep. We never could catch up with Santa Claus. No, I'm going to be awake when he comes. I'm going to prove that there is no Santa Claus. I'll shut up and go on to sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I sat there and sat there. Midnight came and midnight went. I never heard the reindeer, never heard jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Hallelujah. But before I went to sleep, I checked the tree and there was no presence in it. Then I went to sleep. Hallelujah. But when I woke up, there were presents and stockings and I said, who did this? I tried to catch him, but I couldn't catch him. So my father and mother waited until I got about 12 years old and 13. Then they told me, we did it. And you'd have to catch us before you could catch Santa Claus. Hallelujah. But it's sad, children of God, that so many other things have gotten in the way of the true meaning of Christmas. The true meaning is, of Christmas 
is we have a Savior who is Christ the Lord who came to save us from our sin. He came to pull us up out of the Mary clay. He came to set our feet on a rock to stay. He came to put a song in our soul today. A song of his praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That little baby that was wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger was our Savior. Hallelujah. So why did God choose to make himself a body and to enlarge a holy seed in the womb of Mary and make a child? Hallelujah. Why did he come down so low where he was just, looks just like a baby. Hallelujah. He was God manifested in the flesh, but he is like a baby because he wanted to be able to feel our infirmities when they come upon us. He wanted everybody to know what a baby feels like, what a teenager feels like, what an adolescent feels like, what an old person feels like. So he came in that form. But that baby that was born on Christmas Day was God manifested in the flesh. Hallelujah. 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 But he didn't look like God. No, God, you ain't seen God yet. Now, don't try to compare him with God because there ain't nobody in this room or in the live streaming audience. Or, hallelujah. He was a manifestation of God, but his glory and his deity was still shielded by flesh. Hallelujah. He did not manifest himself in his full glory. If he did, everybody in this room would be dead. Mommy, spell it. D-E-A-D. -E because God's glory is so great, you cannot look on his face and live. He told Moses, you can't see my face. I'll pass by you and let you see my glory, but you can't see my face because no man can see my face and live because they're all flesh. They're all flesh. They have to be clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ before they can see my face. They have to have the glory of the Lord on them before they can see my face. Hallelujah. He is strong. He is powerful. On Mount, on the Mount of Transfiguration, he turned white as snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So much glory was hidden in the body of Jesus, but his flesh, amen, shielded us from seeing his full Shekinah glory. Because if we had seen it, we would not be, I wouldn't be preaching up here today. Hallelujah. Because he is strong, he is powerful, he is mighty. Hallelujah. He speaks and people die. Ooh, Shana. He wipes out whole nations. He wipes out, amen, whole communities with one tornado. 
Say, well, that's Mother Nature. Well, honey, there is no Mother Nature. Mother Nature is a name for God. It is a feminine name for God. But Mother Nature does not exist. God exists. He speaks when he wants to. He says what he wants to. He manifests himself when he wants to. But hallelujah, you don't want him in his full glory. You don't want him in his full essence. Hallelujah. He would burn you up. Hallelujah. But he wrapped himself in swaddling clothes and laid in the manger. Hallelujah. Just like every other baby. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus was God. Manifested in the flesh. Hallelujah. 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 For unto you this day is born this day in the city of David a Savior which is Christ the Lord. And when you see him, he's wrapped in swaddling clothes. He's lying in a manger. But this baby is your Savior. Hallelujah. He's your deliverer. He's the one that is preserving us. He is the one that is helping us. Hallelujah. 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 That's the true meaning of Christmas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going to go to point number four. That we... As the people of God, as God's children, need to keep Christ in Christmas. Can I get an amen over the whole room? Amen. We don't need to eliminate him. But there is a movement, a great movement right now to take Christ out of the Christmas celebration. Hallelujah. And take an X and put an X in his place. Did you all ever pass where they're selling trees and they're supposed to be Christmas trees and they got X trees? Y'all ain't done. Well, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't do the Christmas tree part. <laughs> but on some of the ones where you go by, they're selling Christmas trees, but they don't have Christ in the must. There is no Christ must. <laughs> it's an X must. They want to replace his name and combine all kinds of events and things that's going on and call it Christmas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the work of the Antichrist, plural. The Antichrist. First John. Chapter 4, verse 1 through 3. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know we the Spirit of God. <coughs> Every spirit that confesses 
that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. But every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. This is the spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come. And at this writing, which was about 90 A.D., John wrote, even now, already, is in the world. Hallelujah. It's already in the world. It's already in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to serve the Lord and Christmas in a proper way. Hallelujah. Now, I ain't telling you don't cook no food. I ain't telling you don't bake no pies. And I ain't telling you don't watch no football games. And I ain't telling you don't buy a Christmas tree. <laughs> But let us, let us, as God's children, as the children of God, give Jesus Christ his proper place this year at Christmas time. Hallelujah. Does that sound like a plan? Hallelujah. Never forget the one who came to save you. Hallelujah. Never forget the one who died a cruel death just to save us. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let, amen, it be covered up with a whole bunch of other things. And we forget to take time out at our dinner time or whatever time you want to to actually honor Jesus on his birthday. Hallelujah. Will you do that for me? Amen. I got an amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, finally, this is the last part. Amen. A Savior is born. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 through 23. A Savior is born. Everybody all right today? Good. Well, I'm happy about Christmas. I really am. Not because it's presents time and candy time and eating time, but it's a great celebration. When we think about what the Lord has done for us. And where we were without Christ and where we are with Christ. Amen. We, we should celebrate. We should celebrate this in the right way. He brought me out of the Mari Clay. He set my feet on a rock to stay. He put a song in my soul today. A song of his praises. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 said, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord 
by the prophets saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is interpreted, uh, which being interpreted is God with us. Hallelujah. God came to save us. God came to bring us out. Hallelujah. And I'm glad about it. I said, I'm glad about it, sir. Hallelujah. I'm glad to be saved. Ain't you glad you're saved? Ooh, hallelujah. If it was not for Jesus, the whole human family would still be bound in sin. Hallelujah. But he brought us out. He brought us out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last scripture for today is John 3, 16 and 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came to save us from our sin. He came to bring us out. And it was because of God's love for us. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Hallelujah. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Because the Bible tells me so. Hallelujah. Let us rejoice today because the Savior has come and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word Savior means a deliverer in regard to God and Christ. And Webster said it's one who saves one who delivers, and one who preserves. Hallelujah. We are preserved. We are saved. We are delivered. We are brought out by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is that all right? Amen. Well, that's all I have. So all I got is Jesus. <laughs> God bless all of you. Brother Cortland might have to add something on to this sermon because that's all I got. <laughs> uh, God bless all of you and heaven smile upon you is our prayer. And I know it's an old story. We tell it every year. But it's a good story. Amen. And we need to be reminded of we didn't deliver ourselves. We needed a deliverer. We didn't bring ourselves out. He brought us out. We're not keeping ourselves. He's keeping us. Amen. And when we think of it in that way, it will make us happy, joyful. I feel good being saved. I feel good because I'm saved. Amen. Amen.
All right. God bless all of you. Heaven smile upon you is my prayer. And we hope that as we grow closer to the holidays, we will, you know, think more about Christ than we do presents. And I got to get this done. I got to get that done. There were so many cars the last couple of days. I thought, I thought it was a ball game or something. And all the way through town, cars, lines and lines of cars, all out around the ball, lines and lines of cars. I said, where are all these people going? I guess they're going shopping, trying to get some presents or something. But Jesus is the reason for the season. He is the reason for our season. All right, God bless you. We have anyone tonight or today that wants prayer or needs prayer or wants to be saved, we want to give you that opportunity to come down to the altar at this time. Praise the Lord. You are invited to join us on Friday, December the 23rd at 7 p.m. for Focus Friday at Zion Temple First Pentecostal Church, 3771 Reading Road, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45229, where the pastor is Suffolk Bishop Charles L. Smith. Come join us for Focus Friday, where our speaker will be Dr. Kelly Neal. Hope to see you there. Let us praise the Lord together. <laughs>